Hey guys, it is Kamari Tarpley back again with another book review. Um, today we're going to be reviewing something a little bit different. Um, we're going to be reviewing The Hindi Bindi Club by Monica Pradhan. I absolutely adored this book. Um, it's way longer than I usually like to read. It's over 400 pages. Usually I try to keep it around like 300 or so, but it's absolutely worth it. And you really do need all 400 pages to really convey the message that the book's trying to give to you. Um, it's about three Indian families. And when I say Indian, I mean people from India, not Native Americans, people from India, because those are true Indians. <laughs> um, you've got uh, a daughter, Kiran, um, another daughter named Preeti, and another one named Ronnie. And they are basically like more new age uh, Indian women and stuff like they're navigating their lives way differently than their traditional mothers who actually came over from India um, to try to set out set up a life for them. Uh, one's an artist, another one um, a businesswoman, uh, the other is a doctor, and you really kind of see the kind of fragile balance they have between trying to be you know new age women as well as try and meet their parents' expectations because their parents are very, very traditional. Like they want them to marry, you know, Indian men. They want them to have certain kinds of profession. They just think they should be a certain type of way. Um, but it's kind of hard. And I think anyone who, you know, has a mother-daughter relationship definitely, you know, feels that and stuff. Like sometimes they can feel the pressure of what they, their parents want them to be as opposed to who they really are. I don't because my mom's awesome. <laughs> my mom's like, whatever you want to do, I'm 100% behind you. As long as you're not selling drugs. <laughs> and I don't sell drugs. So she's 100% behind me in pretty much everything I do. But I really liked it because it personally reminded me kind of a little bit of my close relationship with my own mom. Um, just because they have certain little disagreements. But at the end of the day, they still like truly love each other. They'll do what they can to kind of adjust to what you know, the other really wants, like, what they're really passionate about and stuff. Like, it really goes and shows the journey of these mothers um, kind of accepting their kids' lifestyles and the kids kind of being a little more understanding of the traditions their family has. Um, but it's really cool. I like the way that the author did it because, first of all, there's recipes, which is uh, diggity diggity dope, diggity, nope. okay? Because <laughs> I love food, okay? Seeing the recipes, I was like, yes, queen, give me more. Yes! <laughs> Um, and the way that she like did these chapters was super dope too because she dedicated each chapter to each person so that the stories wouldn't get confusing, which I was like gagging over. Like, yes, please separate these so I understand because there's just so many characters. Like you have like the six mothers and daughters and then you also have like the husbands of the daughters and the husbands of uh, the their fathers, basically, the, the daughters' fathers. Like, so... You've got a kind of a lot of characters to really kind of like work with, but they're all divided so evenly, so wonderfully. Um, I love the way like she describes things. She talks about Indian culture, which for me was huge because I love like Indian food. I really love seeing culture, but um, it taught me a little bit more about Indian history, which I think it's really important for all of us to kind of learn about the history of, you know, the history of things. I mean, in general, like it's the world, like we should all be a little more worldly, right? <laughs> Um, but it educated me on certain things, um, educated me on why they wear certain things. Like I'll see like beautiful Indian women, like walking around with like their gorgeous saris and their bindis. And I'm just like, like, I want me, don't do it too, <laughs> but you can't because that's cultural appropriation because they're wearing these things for a certain purpose. They're not just wearing these things for fashion statements. So, you know, be aware guys. <laughs> You know, don't wear these box braids if you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying and stuff. So I just honestly really enjoyed it. I definitely think everyone should give it a read, especially if you do have that mother-daughter relationship where you do kind of have some conflicts on things um, and you want to kind of understand things from the other side, but you kind of just don't know how. This is an awesome book to read, just in general. In general, read it. Read it. It's awesome. I really love it. And you know that's a lot for me to be like, because usually I always have something to say. <laughs> always. I always have something to say. But, like, not this time. This time this book is awesome. Uh, give it a read. And, yeah, let me know what you think. I'm going to leave a link below. Thanks for tuning in. And see you guys later. Probably next week. Yeah, I'll see you guys next week. 
Great love, bye.